Big One New Tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this? Hey, Nasha? Nash. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> disasters? Check. Now for TV. Hey, hey. <laughs> Be in charge is brilliant. How do you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So, do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly, but Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash. Gran. Nash! Nash! Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose and me and Nasha are gonna catch it today. We'll be heroes! That's nice, Dennis. I join you, but I'm babysitting. Hi. <laughs> All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! Ah, tiger! Hey? You! Don't you know there's a dangerous animal on the loose? Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. <laughs> you couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi oh, Don't worry, be dear, Gran's just playing. Slowly does it. Gotcha! And Nash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash! Nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis! Haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it!
Then to the bunker! Come on! Look! Tiger hunting's awesome! Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's around here? Look! Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pythis. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. <laughs> in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beanertown's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> get off! That's <laughs> finest of <laughs> steak! Fire. Cover anything in green paint? Or ketchup? Nope. Gran, they locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild sea lion to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Dennis! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! <laughs> Attention all students, a reminder that to 
today we're putting the fun into fun to raising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. <laughs> no way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Beaver Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> Bertie, hop on. Here we are. I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, grease the baking trays. Nash, Nash! Carly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you the Walter Wafer. <laughs> Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. Oh, oh, oh the decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, first yeah. satisfied customer. <laughs> Let's get back to school and start selling. Our Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. So, cash only, keep the line moving. <laughs> No one can resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come! La, la, la. From the frozen oh, north oh, oh, to the Straits of Gibraltar, oh, oh, there's no oh, snack oh, better oh, than a wafer from Walter. Oh, oh, that's very good. Very good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers. Finest cookies in Beano Town. Time for Plan B. But Walter, I thought the song was Plan B. Time for Plan C then. Oh, Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. <laughs> Wait, come back. Uh, special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says menace mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. <laughs> this is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful? Right. <laughs> Two can play at that game. Hello? Be 
Arena Town TV, meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> OK, we need some lipstick, balloons and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. Chew. I, I've got your story here. Just upload this video file. <sighs> Why not? Ah, time for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. <laughs> Interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm -hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects: dizziness, <laughs> strange squiggles on your face, and finally. <laughs> Want your head to explode? Buy Minnie's mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis's scared off our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. We sold 158. Our Walter sold 154. Yeah! 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 But he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, because I bought a box. They're really nice. It doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the Entertainment Square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shedington Grouse, we waited 57 days. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> I put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow! That really was fast. Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Uh, probably your stomach rumbling. Hungry for some Walter wafers? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! <laughs> and here's your prize. Three passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. <laughs> 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 First day of summer. Time for a dip. Time for a swim. Time to make.
make a splash! <laughs> Not this year. You lot are banned from the pool. Why? I know what you did last summer. Get in! You have to admit, Sergeant, it was a trifle funny. <laughs> oh, go jump in the lake. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> you're banned from the lake, remember? Why? <laughs> and now your pesky pet thinks I'm lunch! <laughs> Fine. I know the perfect place to keep cool. OK, this is not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, at least it's got bubble jets. Uh, I don't think it does, Pipes. <laughs> From my back patio, welcome to this summer's preeminent sporting spectacular, the Walter Games. Oh. Starring the indomitable champion, me, and the stadium goes wild. Round one, diving for dictionaries. Wow, it's a Paradise! Oh, like the one I got in my ear at school camp. That was a parasite, Pyphis. Oh, yeah. Dennis, do you think we should ask Walter if he'd let us go in his... Don't even think about it, Dennis. Pool rules. No more than three kids and one pet in the pool at a time. <laughs> And definitely no menaces. <laughs> right. We want to swim, and we'll get a swim. New mission, menaces. Operation Extract Walter from the pool. Walter Games, round two. Synchronised Shakespeare. Shall I, I compare, compare you to the summer's <laughs> day? <laughs> yeah. ah. Ah. Look, line and sausage. <laughs> Round three. Backstroke to bar. Morning, all holidaymakers. News just in. Summer is ending early. What? Weatherman sounds horridly familiar. Mm. <laughs> oh, busted, Dennis! <laughs> Menaces, this leaves us with one final option. He put lobsters in your swimming pool? Exactly! Lobsters in my swimming pool! Right, Dennis. I'm not letting you ruin another summer. Three strikes and you're out. It'll be summer school for you. Summer? School? Those two words don't even belong in the same sentence. <laughs> and these lobsters are strike one. Oh, come on, Sergeant. Don't you know the meaning of the word fun? No. And don't even think about breaking in again, Dennis. Say hello to Pool Boy 2.0. Good morning, Walter. It certainly is a nice day for a swim. Morning, boys. Nice day for a swim in Walter's pool. <laughs> There's no way you'll get in. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Begs for a good cause, you say. Well, one box of cookies won't break the bank. <laughs> what flavour? Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth flavour. Oh. oh, there are so many 
dear cookies to sell. And it's so hot. Oh, you oh. poor thing. Would you like a swim in our pool? Oh, you're too kind. Huh? <laughs> Intruder alert. No more than three children and will get in pool at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Angel Face. Let that be a warning. You're all forbidden to set a single foot in my back garden, or else. Hmm. We won't need to set a foot in his garden because we're going to build a water slide. We'll slide from the top of the treehouse, whisk through Curly's corkscrew, past Pie Face's peril, up and around Nash's nemesis, and down Dennis's doom drop. Then out the spout, leaping the alley, flying over the laser beams, and into Walter's pool! Aye, thank you. Oh, it's great, Dennis. Uh, one question. How do we squeeze into that tiny slide? We're gonna build it big, Pie Face! Instant access to the pool, and all without setting a single foot in Walter's garden. <laughs> right, we'll need to distract Walter while we hammer and bang, which is why we'll need you. For an all-summer pass to your slide, it would be my pleasure. I'm sorry, you're who? Franz Trudepreze, recruiting officer for the Swiss-German Volta Games team. Wait a minute. Are you saying we have a chance to compete professionally? Oh, yeah. <whistles> Training drill begins now. Drop and give me 20. <laughs> and this is my dry feel. <laughs> Step one, borrow a few spare pipes. Hey, let's strike two, Dennis. Stop messing about. Summer is not meant for fun. Oh, honestly, Sergeant, weren't you ever a kid? No. Uh, now once again, more books, cheaper chairs. Faster, higher, stronger. Step two, borrow some water. Oi, what are you boys doing here? Um, playing catch. <laughs> here, catch. No, no, no. Frau Strudel Pretzel, oh, he on the team. <gasps> Angel face. You felonious fraudster! Oh, stop it! You make me blush. Now listen, I've got some valuable intel on Dennis. Step three, build the slide. <laughs> <Wash out. laughs> Menaces, let's ride. Be brave, Paul. <laughs> Someone's tampered with the trajectory. Hmm, cookie crumbs. I taste a traitor. Oh, hi, Dennis. Hi. Walter's kindly given me an all-summer pass to his pool. Isn't that sweet? Hmm? Oh, too bad there's no room for you. Don't get too cosy, clever clogs. We'll fix the slide and then we're splashing in. Dream on, Dennis. Afternoon, Sergeant Slipper. Illegal construction of a constructed structure without structural permits? Let's strike three, Dennis. Pack your bags. You're off to summer school. You should have thought twice before building a giant water slide. Would you, uh, like a ride, Sergeant? Oh, huh? oh, no, no, don't be silly, Dennis. I'm a grown man. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Ice cream! Intruder <laughs> 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 alert. No more than three children and one pet in pool at a time. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, there's only one way into the pool, Walter. What do you say? An all-summer pass to our slide for an all-summer pass to your pool. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is going to be the best summer ever. Nice.
Sasha. Sasha, Sasha. Same reason they write these complaints, Dennis. Your pranks. Today, Dennis, Mum and I expect, insist, demand, hope you do nothing for the rest of the day. If there are any more of your usual pranks, you'll have to do every one of these jobs around the house. Ah, got it. None of my usual pranks. All day. Hush. <laughs> About time you were restrained. No problem, Walter, because I'm not going to do any of my usual pranks. Good. Peace and quiet at last. I'm going to do the ultimate prank. What? Ow! Get off. He's doing what? The ultimate prank? This is a disaster! Emergency meeting at the Colonel's house now! <laughs> It's me. Who's me? How should I know who you are? It, it's Sergeant Slipper. Open up in the name of the law. Uh, uh, uh. You have to do the secret knock. No. Oh. Wrong. No. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Are you some sort of imposter? But you didn't tell me the secret knock. Huh. Wouldn't be a secret if I told you. Uh, we'll be here forever waiting for them. Yes. Good thinking, Nasha. Let's do it. <laughs> Not even close. Ow, 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 ow. Spot on, Sergeant. I knew you'd get it in the end. Finally. <laughs> Nifty knocking, Nasha. And now we wait. <laughs> Quick game to pass the time. Nash! Nash! Concerned citizens, we are facing the most terrifying problem ever to face Beano down in the face. Oh. Dennis is planning the ultimate prank. <gasps> Indeed. But what will it be? We have to know. Maybe he's going to put hair dye in the shampoo. <laughs> la, 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 la. Done it. <gasps> oh, maybe he's going to mix itching powder with the laundry. Oh, seems to be itching. Ah, 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 help somebody, please! Ah. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> no, he's done that one too. Then what? What? For the love of Queen and Country, the ultimate prank! It's sure to be something absolutely horrifyingly terrible! Uh, gentlemen and lady, the fate of Beano Town and possibly the world rests in our hands. We must keep him under surveil. Su uh, su surveil. Su uh, surveil. We must keep a close eye on him. And I have just the chap for this kind of operation. Corporal Tinkle, Tedge Hunt. <laughs> Young Corporal Tinkle here just volunteered. Uh oh. Well done, Tinkle. This could mean a promotion. Oh, about time, too. <laughs> now, let's see what enemy activity Tinkle has to report. Closely, Nasha. This is the ultimate prank. Mrs. Miggins, huh? vegetable garden first. What? What did he say? That's Mrs. Miggins' prize winning vegetable garden, number 42, opposite the bus stop. Oh, thank you. Then off to see Parky Bowls down in the park. Huh? After that, we'll visit those new exotic fish at the pond. Mm. Then fly by Grant's house five minutes later, and finally we'll end up at the corner of Biffo Street and Snooty Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Covering half of Beano Town. This is gonna be the biggest prank ever. The horror. We must stop Dennis. Mrs. Creature, you take Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant, you keep an eye on Parky Bowls. Colonel, you head over to Dennis's grand's house. Claudius and I will guard the fish pond. We'll meet at the final rendezvous later. Very well. Commencing Operation Secret Spy. No, 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 no. Too, too obvious. 
What about Operation Follow Dennis? Oh, no, I know, I know. Operation Foil the Fiend. No, no, I disagree with you. Oh, Colonel, you are wrong. It should have just be called Secret Operation. He's getting away! Operation He's Getting Away? No, no, that's no good. Oh, for goodness sake! How about Operation Will Everyone Please Stop Talking and Catch Dennis? Yes, that'll do. Yeah, works for me. Catchy. Now, split up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Miggins, prize winning carrots are famous. Her potatoes are priceless, and her turnips are terrific. I must save the vegetables. Dennis, stop! <laughs> What have you done to Mrs. Miggins' prize-winning garden? Oh, no! Hey, hey, no mischief, you two. I'm pruning. He wouldn't. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Nasha. Of course he would. Move! Official police tree! Sorry. Sergeant Slipper, what are you doing? Undercover operations? Special branch? <laughs> <laughs> Claudius, you after those new, ever so expensive exotic fish? Oh, Parky Balls will go mad if you've scoffed one. <laughs> wow, you're much braver than me. I wouldn't go anywhere near those piranha fish. <laughs> piranha fish? <laughs> Luckily, they're rare toothless piranha. They don't bite, but whoa, they have a mean sucking action. Hey, <coughs> oh, 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 my rare exotic toothless piranha fish! Come here, you two! <coughs> Approaching, take cover. <laughs> ah, nice pig, good pig. Where's Dennis now? Yes, <laughs> now. Ah, what are you two doing over there? Us two? Over here? Well, what we're not doing is standing in wet cement. <laughs> Today cannot get any worse. <laughs> Oi, what you lot done to my cement? I'll have you. Come here! <laughs> get back here! What have you done? I haven't done anything, Dad. But, but look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Mrs. Creature ruined Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant Slipper damaged Parky Ball's hedge. You frightened the piranhas, Walter. And you jumped into Harvey's pen kernel. The ultimate prank was everyone else thinking I would do something. I didn't have to do anything. What? By Jove, the boy's a master strategist. <sighs> Let me get this right, Dennis. You pranked everyone by not pranking them. Yep. Well, in that case, you are now banned from doing nothing. Never do nothing ever again. Yes! yes. yes. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs>
raised. <laughs> wow, a triple somersault. Uh, am I dreaming? Ow! Nope. Oh, you were brilliant, Walter. Cool skateboard. Is that the Armageddon? Not just the Armageddon. This is the Armageddon Ultrasonic Demon. Series 4. What? Even my gran could do a triple somersault with that board. Really? You hear that, Walter? Denny says that even his gran could do a triple with your board. Pff, I bet she couldn't. I bet she could. How about if your gran pulls off the triple, then you're the Skate King all summer and Walter's banned. If she doesn't, you're the Skate King and Dennis is banned. You're on! <laughs> Yes, Dennis. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. It's the third Saturday of the month. It's before lunch. That means. Morning, dears. Biscuits. <laughs> Gran, Walter reckons you can't do a triple somersault on his skateboard. <laughs> this kingpin can still grind steel on the half pipe. Keep up, everybody! <laughs> right. Who wants to see a triple? Take a last look at the park, Walter. Only one of us is born to rule, and it's not you. OK, champ, get out there and knock him dead. <laughs> I've got nothing to fear. <laughs> Ultrasonic Demon has a remote steering unit. Wasn't that a little like cheating? No, Dudley. It's a lot like cheating. You can do it, Gran. I know it. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, look. Tell me when it's over, Paul. Your Majesty, could I have a 
ever go on your cool board? Absolutely not. Now get down there with the other riffraff. Oh. How's your gran doing, Dennis? Oh, she's all back to normal. Ready for a fart attack. Yes. Yes. Fresh from the oven. It's real? Yes, dear. Coming in. Must get on with the dusting. You feeling all right, Gran? Oh, I am now, Dennis. What was I thinking? Skateboarding at my age? But you're the king pipe of the harpin. No, hang on a minute. The pit pipe of the ting pong. Not anymore. We've got other ways to have fun. What do you mean, we? Me and the girls. Oh. Company. Any sense? It's because it's all in pieces, love. <laughs> Curly, pie face, code red and black alert. Garden, now. No, oh, you've worked it out. Yes, I have. It's time for plan D and G. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get my pranking, menacing, gross-out gran back? Ready! Ready. Nash, nash. Do you like my new ring, Betty? Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> A drink, Patty. <laughs> Dennis, that was naughty and... What else have you got? Chewing gum chum. <laughs> Good one, Gran. Brilliant. Dennis, please come back to the park. We're banned, remember? Walter used a remote control on the board. That's why your gran couldn't skate. <gasps> oh. I think I am old a rematch. Let's burn rubber, Dennis. <laughs> Oi! We demand a rematch. And why would I agree to that? Don't. We'll show everyone how you cheated last time. Very well. I will generously allow Dennis's Gran another go at the triple somersault. Use my board, Gran. Oh, oh. Ready for the triple, Gran? I was born ready. Front of the queue! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 
Operation Golden Ticket is on course for a successful completion. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Four tickets for the cup final, please. Oh, sorry. Just sold me last tickets. What? We we'll do anything. Uh, uh, cut your lawn, polish your boots, shine your medals. Anything for those tickets. Oh, tempt me all you like, Sonny Jim. The Colonel will never buckle. Oh. <laughs> if you're trying to buy tickets, Walter, they've sold out. Oh, I'm not buying a ticket, Dennis. As chief reporter for the school paper, I get a press pass. <gasps> so all we need is a press pass like Walter's and we're in. Oh, this is a menace made in heaven. Oh, no tickets left, love, sorry. The match is a complete sellout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one press pass, please. There you go, the final press pass. <laughs> Press pass, please. You? Which paper do you write for? The Daily Menace. I've never heard of it. That's because it's uh, new and exclusive and only online. Well, this is the final press pass and it's mine. You can't both have the final press pass. You're right. The final press pass should go to a deserving home. Meaning? Meaning uh, whoever gets the most readers by Saturday gets the final press pass into the match. Challenge accepted. May the best reporter win, Dennis. Sounds fair enough to me. <laughs> Bertie, hold the presses. I have a new lead story for this afternoon's edition. <laughs> Dennis the Menace, biggest loser in Beano Town. <laughs> Meet me in the treehouse in exactly 33 minutes and 22 seconds. We've got a newspaper to launch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Nasha. Dad's bottom has been given its own TV show. Dennis, I'm in your bedroom. Ah. Say hello to the Homework Spy 3000. The Homework what? This little beauty will be keeping an eye on you at all times. Right, but... Ah, uh, no buts, Dennis. Take a seat. Six months' worth of homework to do, Dennis. And remember, if you're thinking of leaving your desk, the Homework Spy 3000 will be watching. Which means I'll be watching. Oh! We have to meet Curly and Pie Face in three minutes, Nasha. This calls for a top draw menace. <laughs> Look at that. No more sneaking behind my back. Hm. Pulling the wool over my eyes. It's all about using your head. Brilliant, Nasha. Time for some menacing genius. <laughs> Right, I reckon I've got 20 seconds. Let's get to work. Oh, no, it's on the blink. One state-of-the-art <laughs> website coming up. Great. So, oh, oh, with a fixed position navigation interface. Uh, sure. Ah, and some showy CCS coding. Why not? <laughs> oh, I know. And an intricately designed content management system that automatically generates astute SEO URLs to provide accurate metadata within a fully functional customized database. I don't know. Um, Paul can help you out, Curly. He's got a knack for computers. <laughs> okay. So now we've just got to post a story for people to read. But how will we know how many people are reading it? Well, when someone clicks on our website, it comes up as a hit on the screen. Exactly. And what do hits make? Press passes! <laughs> OK, let's make news. 
Right, Curly? Bring in the bus. Here goes. A world exclusive. Double decker bus found on Moon! Our first big splash. How easy is this? Dennis! <gasps> oh no! Mum! <laughs> A little something for you. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. Double decker bus found on the moon? Mm -hmm. I can do better than that. Read all about it. Double decker bus on the moon disappears. Mm, here you go. Here's a shilling. One more happy reader. <gasps> oh. By Jove, he's right. There is no double decker bus on the moon. <laughs> in Beano Town Park. Wild animal captured. Treasure found in Beano Town. Free chocolate coin with school paper. Beano Town flooded. How I saved Beano Town from the floods. Read my amazing story. figures are Walter's paper 485 but Daily Menace has 486 hits ha -ha! and today is Saturday so no school paper Walter just handed me this it's a bit rubbish <gasps> this puts the numbers exactly even Walter gave me one specially for you too <sighs> <laughs> I believe the press pass is mine, Dennis. <laughs> Soon I'll be shaking hands with Beano Town United's finest. So, Walter wants to shake hands, does he? Curly, I've just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> That's him! Get him! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> the Daily Menace Big Competition. Be the first to shake Walter's hand and win a year's free subscription. 500 extra hits. <laughs> 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 Readers to Walter's 487. The press pass is ours. Congratulations. One press pass coming up. Uh, that's my press pass. No, it's not. We want it fair and square. Uh, actually, I think it belongs to me. Huh? Oh, Angel face. Whoever has the biggest readership gets the press pass, yes? Have you read my magazine? Dennis versus Walter. Skullduggery. Treachery. Trickery. Oh, and 5,000 readers. 5,000? <laughs> See you again. Or maybe not. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Have you been up to, Dennis? Hmm. Still want to see the match, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Angel Face, have I got a deal for you? Your press pass in exchange for the Parents Buy 3000. Stay ahead of prying mums and dads with this state-of-the-art revolution. Uh, it's a deal. 